Hi, this is Ben. I'm going to introduce our showrooms. Our showrooms are divided into two categories. This is our the home appliance section. The other side is the inter industrial section. The aquarium products shown above are capable of uh, virus power transmission in water. There is a virus transmission pad at the bottom and a small marble in the water has a built-in LED. The LED is the turn on by receiving power from the trans transmission pad wirelessly. This technology can be used for aquarium decoration or display. In the case of smartphone charging method, only one transmitter can send wireless power to one pad. However, we can transmit uh, wireless power from one transmitter to multiple devices using wireless technology. Uh, next one is TV. In case of a TV, we bought a 65-inch 120-watt LED curved TV and made it our own way. If you look at the bottom of the TV, there is a receiver. The transmitter is built on, on the top of the shelf. So what you can see actually uh, is a neatly organized TV and shelf. In addition, all of the advantages of resonance wireless power transmission technology, one transmitter can, can be used to transmit power wireless to Bluetooth speakers. Next one is a uh, power table. The built-in wireless power transmit on the desktop allows to you to use all of the tech products on your desk wirelessly. Of course, each product should have built-in receiver. In past, all you have to do is uh, connect the wall wallet to the product. But if you use a wireless power transmission system, you can see your desk clean. Thanks to resonance wireless power transmission system, one transmitter can supply power to multiple receivers. Therefore, it is possible to supply power to an integrated PC, uh, humidifier, and stand. Uh, the distance of uh, power transmission differs by items, but usually about 20 centimeters can be sent. Next one is a shelf for toy. The product name is Crossface. The transmitter core is uh, built in the bottom of the crossface. Just put the LED Lego block and LED receivers on the crossface and it lights up automatically. You can decorate the display by putting the LED in the position where you want. This product is mass produced and sold to Japan. This one is uh, water wipe. Cleaner. The transmitter coil and the module are built in the top of the uh, charging pad. And the receiver coil and modules are built in the top of the cleaner. And the battery is charged only the, by putting it in the specific, uh, specified position. In the past, you can solve the hassle of the connection at the outlet to charge. After use, uh, it can be charged simply by putting in the place. Uh, next one is uh, LED mood light. The TX coil and modules are built in here. And the uh, SMPS is contained in the, this uh, way. It is a product that lights up the LED light wirelessly by connecting a general power outlet. And I will wind up the home appliance side. Thank you. This is our wireless charging station for drones. Normally, after the drone has been flying to 10 to 20 minutes, it has to come back to recharge. 
but it gets easier if you install our wireless charging station on the path where the drone moves. Imagine that the drone performs tasks from A to B then to C. You can put our station at B so the drone can be charged and go to C right away instead of turning back to A. Therefore, you can run drone autonomously without handling manually. The drone is equipped with a receiver module and a coil and there is a display panel for the power status at the front. So you can see that the drone is charging at the 15.6 volt and 4.34 ampere. Since the station and the drone communicate each other, charging stops automatically when the battery is fully charged. Our wireless charger for AGV. AGV stands for Automatic Guided Vehicle and it is used in factories. The sample now shows only the wireless charging motor part that goes into AGV. The right part is a transmitter and the left part is a receiver. Currently, we have installed a hollow lamp for the display, but actually, the receiver is attached to the AGV and goes along the factory. When the receiver and the transmitter reach each other, the electric power is transmitted to the hollow lamp. The front panel shows the electric power that is transmitted from the transmitter. Uh, <clears throat> this sample is capable of receiving up to 350 watts of power. This robot is ready made. Here, we modified the robot by inserting a receiver to the rear of the robot and attaching our coil to the transmitter. When the robot approaches the transmitter, it starts charging automatically. It can be applied to various service robots. It is a sample of daylight showing that the wireless power can be applied to automotive electronics. The left side is originally fixed to the car body and the right side is the part connected to the trunk. So, with our, with our wireless power transfer technology, the taillight is turned on when the two sides face each other. The mechanism is that we inserted the transmitter on the fixed part, which is left, and inserted the receiver part on the left right side. There are a bunch of cables inside the car, including the car trunk part. So if we apply our wireless technology, it can re uh, replace a bunch of wires. This gives the car manufacturer a considerable advantage of reducing the car weight and easier maintenance. It is applicable to various automobile parts, not only the taillight, but also rear view and the car seat. Clippering are mainly used in automation production lines. Their purpose is to supply power to shaft or rotors, especially in rotating parts of vessels. If you use a conventional cable in a rotating body, the cable is twisted and cut off, so we use a slip ring to prevent this problem. Conventional slip rings cause wear and noise because the brush and metal ring rotates each other. In addition, the inter internal structure of the slip ring can be complicated resulting in frequent maintenance and reduced productivity. However, if we use the wireless power transfer slip ring developed by our company, it will transmit power to the space without any physical contact between the rotating shaft. So you don't have to worry about maintenance or abrasion or foreign object like existing slip ring. This is the sample of the unmanned vehicle system. It is the system that transmits power to the unmanned vehicle moving on a conveyor that performs a linear reciprocating motion. Since the electric power is transmitted using the contact terminal, um, contact loss occurs due to non-contact problems. Also, there is a constant need for maintenance due to the occurrence of sparks or foreign objects when vehicle is contacted. However, 
If we use our wireless power transfer system for a manned vehicle, it is possible to transmit power wirelessly without any physical contact between the unmanned vehicle moving on the conveyor and the power transfer terminal. Due to the simple structure, there is no need to worry about maintenance. This is a sample of wireless signboard. If you apply our wireless power transfer technology, you don't need to drill a wall for signboard installation. Construction and maintenance are greatly simplified. We have inserted the receiver into the signboard and attached the transmitter behind the wall. You can maintain the clean wall without perforation.